Hello to all of you and I hope you are all well. In one of the videos, I made this single phase AC generator, which has four coils, and you can click on the link above to see this video. I have included some summary of that video for you where the measured voltage is 23.3V. Each of these parts has 100 turns of the coil with a diameter of 0.4 millimeters. Today, I am going to increase the output voltage value. For this, we can increase the number of turns of the coils and use the empty space between the coils. These empty spaces have a magnetic field, which is better to use, that is, to coil in the empty places as well. Now I will do a simple experiment to prove that there is a magnetic field in this empty space. I have attached this magnet which has N and S poles on both sides to a bearing and it can rotate. If I put it on the PVC pipe like this and rotate the generator shaft, you can see how easily the magnet rotates. And this confirms the existence of a magnetic field. Now I would like to ask a question. If I put the coils in smaller sections on the tube, their final voltage will be more or less than the larger coil. For example, instead of one big wooden core, use five small wooden cores and wrap the wires around them in one direction. Pay close attention to this photo and write the answer in the comment. Before adding the coils, I measure the voltage of one of these coils by turning the generator 2500 times. I will now disconnect it from the rest of the coils. The voltage of each unit of the coil is equal to 5.5 volts, the total of which is 22 volts for 4 coils. So one of these gives us 5.5 volts. To increase the coil, we do the coil according to the previous winding direction. I added a hundred turns of coil to it.
I will do the same for this part. Now it's time to install the new windings in the empty area. The direction of the previous coil was from this side, and it doesn't matter which side the next direction is, because you can change its beginning and end later. Marking the direction helps to make the connections of the coils easier. Two hundred turns of this winding were done and I fixed the wires with glue. Okay I did all the windings on the stator. The total weight of the generator has increased. Now the two ends of each coil must be connected to the side coil in a way that does not cause voltage drop. First, I'm gonna cut off the excess wires with the wire cutters. If you also lose both ends of the coil, it is better to use an ohmmeter and make sure that all the coils are healthy. For example, it was found that these two wires belong to this coil and are healthy. I will check the next one. Now the coils must be connected in a special way. For this purpose, we use a drill as a constant rotation. The easiest way is to first connect the coil to its side coil. If the output voltage is lower, it means that the direction of the coils has been connected incorrectly. Now, I have set the voltmeter to the 6V range and you can see that with the rotation of the generator shaft, the output of the previous loop is almost 5V. Now you can see that by adding the next coil, the voltage increases, which means that the connection is done correctly. Of course, the direction of the coils can help to connect more easily, but the rotation method with a drill will be more reliable. We do the same thing for the next coil and if the voltage decreases, we move their connection.
Now the work of connecting the coils is finished and I rotate it 2500 times with this drill. The maximum voltage is 61 volts. If the wires are not fixed in the coil, it will cause a voltage drop. Now I want to replace one row of magnets on the rotor with stronger magnets to see how much it affects the output voltage. I choose a row that has less glue. This row is better. I think after installing this row of magnets, which has more weight, the balance of the rotor will be messed up. finished sticking the magnet. Now I will test it, but since the rotor is not balanced, the rotation may not be done correctly. The vibration of the generator is high due to the imbalance of the rotor and it is not possible to prolong the rotation, but you saw that with a row of stronger magnets, the voltage increased to 70 volts. The vibration of the generator has caused the speed of rotation to be lower, otherwise the voltage will be higher. Therefore, it was proved that by using a stronger magnet, more voltage can be obtained. If you want to make such a generator, it is better to use pipes with a larger diameter. In this case, the number of coils will increase and you can use more magnets. Using thicker wires will increase the power of the generator. The method of making this generator is easy and does not require special skills, and it is not difficult like generators that are wound from the inside. Of course, after making and testing it, you can put the stator part inside a bigger tube and pour resin on them. Take care of yourself and goodbye until the next program.